Is your Windows PC running slow or struggling to keep up in 2025? In this video, I'm going to show you the ultimate optimization guide to boost FPS, speed up your system, and maximize overall performance. Whether you're a gamer or just want a faster PC, these easy steps will help you get the most out of your setup in 2025. Let's dive in and start optimizing. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 1. Cleaning temporary files to make Windows faster. To remove unnecessary temporary files from your system, press the Windows key plus R on your keyboard. A small window will appear. In the search box, type percent temp cent and press enter. This will open a folder containing temporary files. Press Ctrl plus A to select all files, then press delete to remove them. Repeat this process by pressing Windows key plus R again, but this time type temp in the search box and press enter. Open the folder, select all files using Ctrl plus A, and delete them. While this may not have a major impact on performance, if your system has accumulated a large number of temporary files over time, clearing them can free up space and improve system responsiveness. Step 2. Turning off power throttling to improve performance. Power throttling limits the performance of your computer, especially on low-end PCs, to save energy. Disabling it can enhance speed and efficiency. To do this, press Windows key plus R to open the Run dialog box. Type gpedit.msc and press Enter to open the Local Group Policy Editor. Navigate to Computer Configuration Administrative Templates. System, then scroll down and open the Power Management folder. Inside, locate Power Throttling Settings, double-click on it, and a new window will appear. Select Enable to completely turn off power throttling. Click Apply, then OK, and close the window. This setting is available on both Windows 10 and Windows 11, 11 and can help your system run smoother by ensuring that your CPU operates without unnecessary limitations. Step 3. Making your CPU work better by unparking CPU cores. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Your CPU has multiple cores, but some of them may be parked inactive to save power. This can reduce performance, especially in gaming or heavy tasks. To unpark your CPU cores, first install the Unpark CPU application. Once installed, right-click on the application and select Run as Administrator to give it full system access. When the application opens, it will display the current status of your CPU cores, showing which ones are parked or active. To activate all CPU cores, simply click the Unpark button. This ensures that your computer fully utilizes its processing power, resulting in a significant performance boost. Step 4. Removing telemetry for more privacy and better performance. Telemetry is a feature that collects data from your computer and sends it to Microsoft, which can impact both privacy and system performance. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Once downloaded, open the program and apply only the recommended settings. If prompted to create a restore point, you can skip this step since a restore point was already set earlier. Disabling telemetry might affect features like clipboard history and storage, but if any issues arise, you can use the undo all changes option to restore everything. Finally, select do not show this message again, click OK, and you're done. Removing telemetry ensures that your system runs with fewer background processes while also protecting your privacy. Step 5. Optimizing system memory using ISLC program. The ISLC Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To optimize your system memory, first set the list size to half of your total memory. You can check your total memory at the top of the ISLC program window. For example, if it shows 32,000 and mean AMAP, type 16,000. If it shows 16,000 and need be AMAP, type 8,000. Next, check the boxes for Start ISLC Minimized and Launch ISLC on User Logon to ensure it runs automatically. On the right side, enable Timer Resolution and set it to 0.50. The ISLC polling rate should be set to 1000, but if your system is slow, change it to 1000. After adjusting these settings, click Stop, then Start, and finally click Purge Standby List to complete the process. This will help free up system memory and prevent slowdowns, making your computer run more efficiently. Step 6. Optimizing Windows Using the Optimizer tool To further improve Windows performance, open the Optimizer Program folder and run the Optimizer tool. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Once the program launches, go to the General tab, where you will see different sections such as System, App, Privacy, and Disk Drive settings. In the System tab, enable all available options to make Windows run faster by stopping unnecessary background services and disabling programs that consume too many system resources. Be sure to turn on settings like Optimize Performance, Show All Notification Icons, Remove Menu Delay, Optimize Network, Disable Error Reporting, Disable Compatibility Assistant, and Disable Printer Services. 
Also, disable unnecessary features like sticky keys and smart screen by clicking on the relevant options. Next, navigate to the App tab and enable all settings to ensure that your applications run smoothly and remain stable. Then, move to the Privacy tab and activate all available options to prevent Windows from collecting unnecessary data. Under the Disk Drive section, disable Superfetch and Hibernation, as these features can slow down your system. Leave the other settings at their default unless you have specific preferences. If you are using Windows 10 or Windows 11, you will find a tab specific to your version. In the Gaming section, enable Game Mode to optimize your PC for gaming. Also, disable Xbox Live and the Game Bar, as they can reduce gaming performance. Under the Privacy tab, turn off features such as Telemetry Service, Cortana, Enhanced Privacy, News and Interests, Smart Menu Ads, Edge Toolbar, and Edge Discover to reduce background processes and free up system resources. Now go to the System tab and disable features like People, Sensors, and Virtualization-based security if they are turned on. These features are usually unnecessary and disabling them can improve system performance. Lastly, navigate to the Windows Update tab. If you do not want Windows to update automatically in the background, you can disable automatic updates here. However, it is generally recommended to keep updates enabled to ensure your system stays secure and up to date. Once you have made all these changes, click Restart to apply them. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the GearUp Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the GearUp Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 7. Optimizing Windows using the Ultimate Power Plan to maximize your computer's performance. Open the Windows search bar and type power until you find change power plan. If your current power plan is set to balanced, it is not ideal for gaming because it limits CPU performance. Instead, switch to high performance or ultimate performance mode. To enable ultimate performance, go to the FPS boost pack and run the ultimate performance command as an administrator. Once you execute the command, a confirmation message will appear stating that the mode is enabled. Now return to the power plan settings, locate ultimate performance and select it. This step ensures that your CPU runs at its full potential, helping to increase FPS and improve the overall smoothness of your gaming experience. Step 8. Disabling HPE to prevent stuttering and FPS drops. In this final step, you will disable a system feature that may be causing performance problems. HPET, High Precision Event Timer, can sometimes lead to stuttering and FPS drops. To turn it off, right-click on the Start button and select Device Manager. A list of system components will appear. Look for System Devices and find High Precision Event Timer, HPET. Right-click on HPET and select Disable. By disabling HPET, your system may experience smoother performance and more stable FPS, as it will no longer be affected by unnecessary timing events. This small tweak can make a noticeable difference, especially in gaming or other high-performance tasks. By following these steps, you can significantly improve your Windows performance, making it faster and more efficient for gaming and everyday use. Try these optimizations and enjoy a smoother and more responsive system.